Lovelies here today. I'm your host, S. Nicholson, on the Nicholson Cowboys Network. Here to basically give you my bold predictions for, obviously, week four, as my boys will be going against the Cleveland Browns. So, as I would um, usually want to say, is that we are going to go in this to go beat the butt of Cleveland Browns in our hometown in Arlington, Texas, at... at <laughs> if I can speak English, at a t Stadium. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is going to be a pretty close game. To be honest, I think the Cleveland Browns are a really good team with Miles Garrett and that defense and with Baker Mayfield having all sorts of weapons on his offense. I think that team is a force to be reckoned with. So I wouldn't sleep on the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. We will obviously be playing on Fox at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sadly, I will be at work, but once I get off, hopefully I can have some time to have a chance to have you guys see my live reaction of me reacting to the game. Let's hope. It may not happen this week, but it will definitely happen next week because I think next week we should have the 425 game against the... Uh, I have to check the schedule, but... Um, I don't. I think. I don't think we're going against the Giants. We're going against one of the NFC East teams. I. I, I don't know which one. It might be the Giants. Um, I know. I'm a Cowboy fan. And I don't even know my own damn team schedule. I know how how great I am. Um, so I'm gonna look at Dallas's Cowboys schedule. Obviously, I knew we were playing the Cleveland Browns. I knew even before Seattle. So. I, I, but let's be honest, I think every football fan doesn't <laughs> know the schedule 100% because everything, sadly, has been moving around. But bad for the Patriots right now because, uh, what's his name? Cam Newton was diagnosed with COVID. Well, he wasn't diagnosed, but he was tested positive for COVID. So, uh, hope for the best for that team. Um, but they're um, planning to reschedule the whole game, Patriots versus uh, uh, Chiefs, which I was actually looking forward to that game. I thought that game was going to be cool. Yeah, Giants. I was right. Huh. Ha ha. I knew it was one of the NFC East teams. Um, so I'm gonna be mainly talking about my bold predictions for week four, um, basically, and give you obviously the updated information that you need for the Cowboys and since this is the Nicholson Cowboys Network. So I'm gonna give you some information and I'm wearing my D cap today to give some little good luck for my team tomorrow. But I will say we are very beat up. And and when I mean we're beat up, we're beat up. Um but I do have somewhat some good news. Uh, so we have three very big injuries. Now, there's a couple other things, like Trishna Hill got fined, which he rightfully should be. Um, to be honest, Trishna Hill should rightfully be fined. He, what he did to Russell Wilson and to the Seattle Seahawks running back. Okay, thank you. Sorry, that, that's my um, sister. She um, giving a movie to for me to return. So right after this recording, I'm going to have to get ready to return that. Um, but the injury report is that there's three very big key players. There's many more. Obviously, as you know, that Lane Van Der Esch, uh, Wuzier, Sean Lee, and L.L. Collins are all on the injury reserve. Those are the big names that are on there. But for the injury report of this week is... Three key players, Demarc Lawrence, Tyron Smith, and uh, Trevion Diggs. These are two, three big players, and f it's all on. Oh, well, two are on the defense, one are on the offense. But these are three big players we need against Cleveland. Two of them are questionable. One is actually going to play. Uh, I can say with glad news that Demarc Lawrence will be active, so he will play against the Cleveland Browns, which I feel very happy about. I would rather have two pass rushers than one. Um, Aldon Smith, I am expecting him to really have a big game against Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. I think Aldon Smith is going to wreak havoc on the Cleveland Browns. I think he's going to really do good. Um, it's really going to depend on how good. I mean, the Cleveland Browns on offensive line, I think is not like great, but I think it's pretty decent. So... I really want Al Alan Smith to really put his motor in for this game. But it's good to know that he's going to have another big boy on his end with Demarx Lawrence. So that's um he is um going to be active against the Cleveland Browns. Um Tyron Smith, he's been dealing with a neck um injury. It's weird. It's always been each year he's been dealing with an, uh some neck issues. It's uh it was either his neck or his back. He he really has been 
um, dealing with uh, some injury concerns. He's been battling I think, injuries for like three years, man. He's really, he's really, he's really concerned. But he's a very good pl- football player when he plays. Um, he's questionable. He's been um for as for specific on the neck, he's having stingers, which um I actually I don't know what that person feels like, but I've actually experienced someone having stingers, and yeah, it's not fun. It it it, it hurts. It's it hurts, and it's a day to day thing. Um, so for like DeMarcus Lawrence, um, he was, uh, he, uh, participated, uh, had full participation or no, he didn't practice Wednesday and Thursday and he was limited Friday. I was, I'm thinking of, um, I think I'm thinking of, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of Travion Diggs for Wednesday. Um, I don't know. I am sorry. I have it written down here. So I'm like looking saying, oh, you know, yeah, totally. Um, so, <laughs> Uh, so he was, uh, he didn't fully practice, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, but he was limited, um, Friday. Uh, so according to the injury report, he will be playing, uh, Trevion Diggs, uh, he did not, uh, he fully practiced it, um, Wednesday, but he didn't, uh, he had limited, uh, for the rest of the week and he's dealing with a shoulder and a knee injury. Um, so let's hope that it's, uh, especially shoulder injuries, shoulder injuries are pretty bad. Uh, knees are pretty bad too. He needs both of those. <laughs> um, he needs both of those to be a defensive back. So let's hope his injury is not going to be as severe. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to play against the um, Cleveland Browns. If he can't, uh, we're screwed. <laughs> I think our back course, um, I could say in a very, very, very big aspect, is going to be screwed. And then I've already talked about a little bit about Tyron Smith. Uh, with his next steeners, he is... Uh, he. Um, he did not practice. Um, yeah, he didn't practice Wednesday, but he was limited for the rest of the week. So he did um, limit for Thursday and Friday. And it seemed like the same thing with Trayvon Dick. So uh, we are really hoping that those guys could be able to. So since they're limited and they were able to finish the week in practice, I'm pretty confident they'll be able to play. I'm pretty confident. Even though they're limited, I think I'm pretty confident they're going to play. Um, and obviously on the. Um, on the Cleveland Browns end, they're having uh they have some injury issues with uh the big names are Denzel Ward, uh, he's questionable. Kareem Hunt's questionable. They they have a like they have a big 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 big, uh they have some big names in there. So um it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Uh so the bold prediction. So here's what I have for the Dallas Cowboys. I expect the Dallas Cowboys to win thirty four to twenty four. I expect it to be a shootout. I, I expect it to be a pretty good game. I think it's going to be very good, very close. Um, but I don't see I don't see Baker winning this game. Um, I think you know the D line is really good for us. I, I now I get it. You know we still have some concerns on the back core. Absolutely, there are still some uh, concerns. Obviously, with Trayvon Diggs having his um, shoulder and knee injuries, uh, not like injuries, but concerns. Um, we do have very thin at that backcourt, but I do think our passing rushing defense is going to uh, wreak havoc on Baker Mayfield. I think, you know, with Demarcus Lawrence in there, with Don Terry Poe, uh, with definitely Jalen Smith being the leader in that defense, I think we are going to wreak havoc on them. Um, and then for the offense, I think it's going to, I really want this to be a run pound offense. I really want Ezekiel to get the ball this game. I think. We should not really pass it because Miles Garrett is a very scary man. Miles Garrett is one of the definitely one of the league's best pass rushers, easily. So we have to really take in consideration that we have to run the ball as much as we can. Um, even if it's like two to three yard gains, we have to get this running game. And not only to get the running game going, but we gotta limit the clock. We can't give the Cleveland Browns as much time on the ball. And that's the problem that we've been having is that like, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to score touchdowns. Obviously you want to score points, but at the same token, you don't want to give your opponent uh, a point. Uh, God damn. Can I speak <laughs> opponent? If I could speak, geez, opponent, the ball, because with like, because that was the problem. We gave Russell Wilson like free real estate time to throw the football. And I grant it, and you know you can't rely on your offense to win the game. Um, yeah, thanks, Tristan Hill. Um, you know, I, I just think you know it's it's really just going to have to come down to our defense. I think it's really you know our offense. I know could win us games. It's really going to have to come back specifically our back core on defense. 
I think we're gonna have to see how Trevion Diggs is gonna play that game because you know he might he might he might have to take a little bit of regression due to his um concerns, and you know it's gonna really be concerning on that those back safeties. Even though I talked about yesterday, I still believe in this core. I think we will be able to beat the Cleveland Browns thirty four to twenty four. Um, I think we're going to have a lot more rushing yards than passing yards um, against Cleveland. I really expect us to have a big running game um, going against Cleveland. Hopefully, Mike McCarthy can implement that. I don't know. Um, it's really, it's really gonna, it's gonna be really up to Mike. Um, but I trust Mike McCarthy. Whatever he's gonna do. Um, so I try, I trust that team. Um, and I think our offense coordinator is Kellen Moore. So I trust him. Uh, he really proved me really good last year. Kellen Moore really did good with our offense. So, um, so I really trust him. Uh, so um, that's pretty much going to be it for that for the bold predictions uh, for the Cleveland Browns is on. Um, I think Baker's going to play good. I I don't I I'm not saying like oh Baker's going to suck. Uh, I think Baker's going to put up some good numbers. I think Baker is definitely going to get at least three hundred. 300 yards passing easily against us. I think, you know, the, he's going to really spread the ball around. I think he's going to be able to score. That's why I say I think 34 to 24 is a reasonable score. I think Cleveland's going to get a couple touchdowns. I think the running game is going to be good. I just, it's really going to be the shootouts of the offense, to be honest. I think, um, but I am really scared of Cleveland's defense. I think Cleveland's defense, if they get Denzel Ward and the, some of their key defensive players, yeah, I think we're going to be not screwed, but I think we're going to really have a rough time, especially in our passing game. I think our passing game is going to be hard. Um, but, I mean, at the same token, it's like, do they have a secondary? You know, I think that's the big thing that we're going to see with Cleveland is because we do have a lot of weapons in C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, Cedric Wilson. Like, he came out of nowhere. Uh, even Noah Brown like came in for two plays and made some big catches. Like we really have an in-depth receiving core. Like there's so many names in there that I'm like, oh my god! Like yeah, you may come in for one play, but you somehow make a big play in like big moments. So I think you know it's going to be very interesting, you know, to see uh what this team's going to um, bring to the table. I I really I really am thinking um some big things with the Cowboys this um Sunday. Uh, it's literally tomorrow, so we're going to have to see. Um, so, yeah, Cleveland fans, uh, I'm expecting us to win. But, hey, if Cleveland, if Cleveland beats us, man, I'm not going to be too surprised. Um, but I uh, got to go with my team. Got to go with my boys. So, Cowboys, final final decision, final prediction. Cowboys are going to win 34-24 to against the Cleveland Browns at home. Yeah, and that's another thing. That's another factor. We have home field advantage. And we're pretty good at winning at home. <laughs> <laughs> barely winning against the Falcons at home. All right, don't, don't quote me on that. Okay, guys. So I think that's going to be pretty much my um, pretty much my ramble. I don't want to ramble too on too long for you guys. But as I said, you are. I'm pretty much the most modest cowboy fan that you ever meet. I respect teams for um, teams. Now, when it comes to the NFC East, yeah, I'm a little bit of a dirt bag. But at the same token, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is your host Dennis Nicholson signing out. Hope you enjoyed the Nicholson Cowboys Network. And I will see you tomorrow when I have my huh, thoughts on the Cleveland Browns versus the Cowboys at Arlington Stadium. And this is your host, Des Nicholson. Sign out. Peace.